it feels absolutely awesome. I uh, get a taste of freedom again, and I think I think this was a this was, this was a good thing to happen. After being in there for about nine, almost ten months, it's uh, it's an awkward feeling to be out in the open like this. So it's uh, it's great. Yeah, can you describe the emotion you had yesterday, being released, acquitted, released from jail, uh, and came out here obviously to to a bunch of supporters? Well, the emotions, um, you know, as soon as I heard the first not guilty verdict for for Ammon, I, I I was really starting to tear up because that was a, a sense of relief. Um, you know, those are great people. I really didn't want to see them guilty. Um, I I was really upset. Said that after I was acquitted, that I was actually still treated as a guilty person uh, for another four more hours. They actually attacked me uh, because I refused to be handcuffed as an innocent person, and they, they slammed me against the wall and then took me down to the ground and uh, attacked me. And so that, I had to go through that, just to stay in there for another four hours. But as soon as I got out and released, um, I could hear all the people cheering for me, and that sense of uh, I've never experienced that kind of. It's a great feeling. It was, it was really nice. In uh, these last I 10 months, they've been a whirlwind for you. Coming from the Cincinnati that. area, uh, being in Burns for a while, coming here obviously to Portland. Uh, how's that all been for you? Uh, it's been quite an experience, um, you know, driving all the way out here from, from Ohio. Um, I, just, I just felt like this was something I needed to do and it was, it was a, a, quite a whirlwind. You know, I wasn't ever expecting it to go down like this. Um, but it was nice to, to make it through this. Yeah, and what, what's next for you, David? Where, where are you headed? What you doing? Next, I'm planning to uh, continue to protest. Uh, maybe I think I'm gonna go down to actually Nevada case and uh, support them down there. Um, and again, I just keep telling people there's a lot of corruption in this country that needs to be, you know, brought to light, and maybe we can change some things going on here. Yeah, and lastly, uh, what's the big takeaway? What's the message you want folks to know after all this is at least here in Portland said and done? Uh, I think the main message that that needs to be shown is that there is power to the people, and that um, you know, if we the people feel there's corruption going on, that that we do have the power to unite to, to change those things and you know the jury is the ultimate law of the land you know they decide if the law is applied right you know or if you're actually guilty of it and and it's good to see that the we the people saw through the government lies and um Made, made the right choice. Yeah. And one more for you. How good does that barbecue taste right about now? Actually, I'm not a fan of barbecue. Uh, I'd rather probably eat sushi or something. But, you know, I, I haven't had a hot dog yet, but I'll, I'll be getting one here soon. Well, there you go. David, thanks a bunch for your time. Really appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Yeah, bye. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. Hey. Hey, we are going to not guilty there.